Kerbin is a unique and truly fascinating world. It is the place we as Kerbinauts know the best, with its lush green hills, imposing mountain ranges and fathoming blue oceans, which we have all come to love and cherish. For many, Kerbin is the centre of their universe, with the prospect of there being strange alien worlds seeming almost absurd. But the Kerbal system is full of surprises, many of which will astound and inspire for decades to come. So join me, Jin Lee Kerman, on a voyage of discovery through the mesmerising system we call home, as we discover the wonders of the Kerbal system. We begin our quest at the very heart of our planetary system, and the nuclear furnace of Kerbal itself. At over 3,700 degrees centigrade at its surface, this 261,000 kilometer ball of hydrogen gas is, at its core, fusing this most basic of elements under intense pressure, causing the formation of helium, a heavier, more complex element. This, in turn, provides the heat and light energy required for Kerbal life to exist. However, stray too close to this motherly furnace, and your fate will become like that of Moho's. As the closest planet to Kerbal, Moho is seared and scorched by the immense heat from our parent star. In Kerbal mythology, Moho features as a fiery world, with oceans of flowing lava. This could not, however, be further from the truth. Moho's surface appears as a range of shades of brown, and it is heavily pockmarked with craters. Upon initial inspection, its appearance would fool you into thinking it was a dead, scorched shell of a world. But surprises often lie within fine detail, and Moho is no exception. For example, Moho's orbit is highly elliptical, and inclined by around 7 degrees, meaning that surface temperatures can fluctuate greatly from blisteringly hot at its closest approach to a comparatively mild temperature at its furthest point from Kerbal. And upon closer inspection of its surface, Moho begins to reflect the world that the ancient Kerbals once described. Huge, dark brown basins, which at their largest cover around a quarter of Moho's 250 kilometer diameter, are the solidified remains of former lava oceans caused from magma welling up to the surface after cataclysmic impact events from early in the planet's history. There is also evidence for the existence of past volcanism on the planet, which may have been driven due to the gravitational tug of war caused by being so close to Kerbal. This supports the suggestions from some astronomers that Moho may have once had a tentative, superheated atmosphere. However, this claim is not popularised due to the lack of evidence to support it. However, one thing science cannot explain is the geographical anomaly at Moho's North Pole. Known as the Mohole, it is an inverted conical structure that descends 4.6 kilometers down into the planet's interior. Many missions have been sent into this anomaly in order to try and determine where it came from, but all of them have failed. Scientists have hypothesized it may be due to a phenomenon known as procedural terrain generation and occurred back when Moho was first formed. Others suggest the vigilant space kraken may be responsible, although this theory is yet to be proven. It is these strange phenomena near Moho's pole, coupled with its deceptively complex surface, that truly make it a wonder of the Kerbal system, as it offers a unique look back in time. Back to when the Kerbal system was merely in its infancy, which can in turn help us understand the origins of Kerbin, our own world, and thus better understand ourselves. Join me next time on Wonders of the Kerbal System, where we'll be looking at the vast purple world of Eve. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss it. My name is Jin Lee Kerman, and as always, stay classy.